Space Solar Power can fulfill the promise of clean, safe, renewable, affordable energy, reliably delivered where and when it is needed and by whoever decides gets it. And if you don't think that the governmental bodies in charge of all of this from all the different countries, whether it's in the U.S., whether it's in the U.K., whether it's in Japan, China, Russia, it doesn't matter, India, doesn't matter. Do you really want to give the control to the government to be able to capture the sun and then deliver it to you, deliver it wherever they want? Just really where we're headed, folks, because it makes me really unsettled every time that I capture something drifting over our freaking heads. I don't like it. I'm not comfortable with it, and I don't have to. It's not to help protect us. Developing these space-based systems is not going to help protect us in the future and save us from global warming. It's It has other intentions. And that's the part right there that they know damn well if all of the information was allowed to be distributed and disseminated concerning the research and development of these projects, developing directed energy weapons. I don't want their weapons. I do not consent. You have, again, from August of 2021, Presidential Policy Directive, National Strategy for Space and Solar Power, a memorandum for who else? The Vice President, the Secretary of State, the Administrator of the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the Secretary of Energy, Defense, Commerce, Transportation, Director of the Office of Management and Budget, the Assistant to the President for National Security Affairs, the Director of the Office of Science and Technology Policy, the ability to develop, deploy, and use government and commercial space solar power and wireless power transmission systems safely, securely, and sustainably is vital to combating the global threats posed by climate change. The number one thing they mention to maintaining and advancing United States strategic leadership and developing new, scalable, net zero, carbon dispatchable baseload energy sources for U.S. and global electricity markets, for U.S. and global electricity markets. So I guarantee you they're going to be selling it off to the other space agencies up there before they'll make it, make it to any kind of value to anybody down here at ground level if we continue to allow them to take the liberty to develop these space-based solar systems up in our upper atmosphere. Not only are we going to have more stronger and more damaging storm systems developing, we're going to have all kinds of new types of phenomena happening where there's going to be energy and power grounding out in places that it's never grounded out before. And people are going to end up getting hurt. I guarantee you. They can't research and develop this stuff and test it out there in the public theater without having mishaps, without something going wrong at some point. Otherwise, they're not truly testing it because that's how you test these things. I just, I don't consent. Space-based solar power is an opportunity for strategic security. Again, selling it in the name of national security, right? But then in the same breath, selling it as a way to combat global co global warming. You know, when I capture all of these things drifting over and I post up a video and I'm talking about space-based systems and stuff like that, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. And they are absolutely testing this stuff in the near-Earth orbit, lower than ever before in history. And how convenient that they just have to have these decades-long cover stories already made up about aliens events and all of these prophecies and all of these things. How convenient. Because, you know, if something really bad goes, goes wrong, do you really, really think that they're going to own up to it? Or do you think that they're all just going to get together and make up some bullshit story to tell everyone down here at ground level? I'm just, I don't consent. 